everyone and welcome to GSE at Home. My name is Celine and today is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 13 incident which nearly ended the mission. So we want to have a think about astronauts returning to Earth in their rocket after being in space. Bringing a rocket back down to Earth is something that takes a lot of work to make sure that it's successful and safe for the astronauts. One well-known occasion where things didn't quite go to plan was with Apollo 13. Apollo 13 was due to land on the moon in April 1970. However, the lunar landing was aborted only two days into mission due to a very serious fault on board. This fault caused an explosion and the main part of the spacecraft lost its supply of oxygen, power and water. So rather than landing on the moon, the rocket circled the moon before making an emergency landing back down to Earth. Now this was only possible due to the expertise of the crew and the staff behind the scenes at Mission Control who responded immediately to develop a new plan. The astronauts had to make adjustments to their equipment using only what they could find on board. So today you are going to have the task to design a capsule that will bring your astronaut back down to Earth as safely as possible. To help you with your design, I'm going to hand you over to our Chief Engineer, CJ. Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Celine. I'm CJ and I'm gonna be your design engineer for today. Now, we just heard a little bit about Apollo 13 and how the scientists had to get very creative to avoid a dangerous situation. Well, today we're gonna to create another dangerous situation and we're gonna get creative in a way to keep our egg astronauts safe because what we're going to do is we're going to send them up into the upper atmosphere and we're going to send them back down to Earth. Now don't worry if you can't reach the upper atmosphere, you know, as high as you can reach or maybe outside of a window, it's as high as you're going to need to go. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to create a landing module that's going to keep our astronauts nice and safe as they come all the way back down to Earth. Now I've got a few materials here that I managed to salvage in the house. I've got some sticks, some tape, some toilet roll, toilet roll tube, I've got some paper, and of course I've got my egg as well. Now you may want to substitute some of these things for other things you can find in the house, like straws, like bubble wrap, or maybe even packing peanuts if you can find them as well. And don't worry if you don't have your own egg or eggs aren't around in the house right now, you can put anything you want inside the capsule and drop it off. But if you want to add a little element of a challenge to see if your design succeeds or fails, then I'd say add an egg to it. Now, not only is this a practical challenge, but it's also going to be a creative one as well. So I want to see how amazing you can design things. I want to see the wonderful, wonderful ideas that come out of your head as you try and make your capsule nice and safe to think about a few things that might change the design of our capsules to help them land down nice and safely on planet Earth. And one thing that affects things landing on planet Earth is the force of gravity. Gravity is a force where big masses will pull smaller masses towards the center of it. You see this when things fall on planet Earth because when they fall, they get pulled down to the ground. You can also see this out in space as well, where the sun, the biggest mass in our solar system, has got everything else in its gravitational pull, and that's why they orbit around it. So what's happening on Earth with gravity is that when something falls, it falls at 9.8 meters a second every second, which means that it's accelerating as it falls, which means it gets faster as it falls. It's getting 9.8 meters a second faster for every second that it's falling. And our capsules, if they were getting dropped from the upper atmosphere, could end up reaching speeds of up to 200 meters a second. Now that's very fast, so we're gonna have to think about a way to slow that down. Fortunately, there's another force out there that's gonna help us, and that is the force called friction, a slowing down force. Where, if an object is rubbing against another object, it will try and slow it down, and friction creates light and heat in extreme circumstances as it slows things down. You see when capsules re-enter planet Earth's atmosphere, they start to glow red. That means they're getting very, very hot and the glow is light energy as well. And what's happening is that there are air particles all around us that when things fall, are actually slowing it down. And one thing that helps things slow down when they're falling is a parachute. And the way that that works is our capsule is actually quite small and quite streamlined. So as it's falling down to planet Earth, 
it's not hitting that many air particles on the way down. But if you are a big parachute, you're increasing that surface area, which means that more air particles are hitting against that capsule, which means that it's slowing down a lot more. So friction is one force that we can use to slow down the speeds that gravity is going to increase. Another thing that we need to think about is the impact itself. We need to think about cushioning the fall some way. Astronauts inside these capsules, they get nice comfy seats and that's not just to give them a comfy relaxing ride all the way to space. No, that's for when they come back, they're going to be landing and they're going to be bumping pretty hard on the ground. And it's a lot better to bump onto something soft than it is to bump onto something hard. One other thing that we can think about as well are the legs of a lunar module. You'll see those big long legs of a lunar module, they look a little bit like this with my face being the centre of the module. And as they land, it bends in. It bends in as it lands. And what's happening there is the force of that fall is actually being spread throughout the legs. You can actually try this yourself at home. You can jump on the spot and when you land, you'll realise that your knees start to bend. And that is your body spreading the impact of that landing all the way through your legs, making it feel a lot less than it is, making it a lot comfier and a lot smoother landing. So we need to think about comfy chairs and we need to think about things that bend. Now, comfy chairs could be covered with some of this tissue paper, or maybe some bubble wrap or some packing peanuts. And maybe you could use the sticks to make some legs as well. So the things we need to think about are parachutes to slow down that fall a nice smooth landing and maybe even something to absorb the impact. Now let's get on with our designs and let's see what we can come up with. I want to see what amazing designs you come up with and then once we build we'll get to the testing phase. Now as we can see I went for a pretty basic design, I went for a little capsule, I put some toilet paper in here for a cushion, I've stopped the bottom off with some paper right there and I've added a little paper parachute. Now I think it's time to test these out. Now probably put some tarp down or put a black bag down somewhere wherever you're going to drop it, if you're going to drop it inside or if you're going to drop it outside because we don't want to be making too much mess do we? And if you're doing it inside, that's great. Maybe just drop it from as high as you can reach and drop it on the ground. That's going to be a high enough height. But if you want to really test the limits of your capsule, you'll be able to drop it at the top of the stairs. Maybe you'll be able to drop it out of a window into the garden as well. But make sure that if you're doing any of those, you've got plenty of adult supervision to make sure that you're nice and safe while you're conducting this experiment. So let's go and test this out and see how well it does. done to all of you at home for your capsule. Did your astronaut survive? Remember, you can always retry this experiment and change some techniques to see if you can improve your landing. Scientists are constantly experimenting new ways to explore space and ways to make space travel safer, faster and more efficient. Do you know how many astronauts have walked on the moon? 12 astronauts all from the United States of America. Bonus points for if anyone can name any of those 12 astronauts. The last time we visited the moon was in 1972, but NASA are actually going back to the moon very soon in the hope to achieve knowledge that's needed to lay the foundation for astronauts to go to Mars. How exciting is that to go to Mars? Now, it takes years and years of dedicated work and repeating experiments in order to perfect space travel. So don't worry if it takes you a few attempts to make a good capsule. Please tag us on social media in any of your pictures or videos of your capsule and astronaut. We would love to see them. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We will try our best to answer. Thank you all for tuning in to GSE at home today. 
and we'll see you again next time for some more fun science. Bye everyone!